clip, clip, clip. Let me be your cameraman. I'm holding this funky shaped microphone in front of my face. I don't have a shotgun because I'm running low on funds. Road sponsored me. And I can't use one of these microphones because the mic jack on my camera is broken. Welcome to episode two of Keenan's Classes, Classes with a K, a series on my channel where we- I didn't get that. Cool. where we basically just talk about things to do with filmmaking and tips and tricks with editing and everything I've learned on my journey as a filmmaker. So let's get stuck in. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about a kind of secret hack to editing audio within Premiere Pro. I say it's secret, it's not really, it's just a hidden feature that not many people know about and it's the audio track mixer. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and show you what it can do. Alrighty guys, so we are here in Premiere Pro. This is my kind of default workspace and this is kind of a, just a section of the clip from my previous video. If you want to watch that, top right corner, the card will be there. The kind of secret hack magical tool is the audio track mixer, uh, but that doesn't show up by default. So if you head up to window and then you click audio track mixer, it will come up in one of your panels. Now, right now you might be thinking, oh, this is just simple, it's just volume sliders. Well, if you head up to this little mini arrow here, which shows the effects and sends, you get this whole menu of different effects that you can add to the track. And why this is cool is that you can add effects to the whole row of tracks rather than highlighting all the tracks that you need and then applying a different effect. All you do here is we're on audio track two is you go on to say, hmm, what's that? let's go time and pitch, pitch shifter. And if you double click it, you can change all the settings and parameters. So let's just increase the pitch of my voice to like the highest pitch. And if you ever listen, so yeah, the cool thing about this is that you don't actually have to add any audio effects onto the individual track. So what you'd usually have to do is probably go into pitch shifter and you put that onto your track one and then you go down here and then you click edit. Okay, I'm just gonna stop myself there. It's just an extremely long process, which is what you don't want. The audio track mixer makes make this a lot easier. And this is especially good for when you're doing like a vlog or a sit down thing where you have so many audio tracks uh, and you just apply the effects onto the whole track. The last cool thing is that you have a master audio chain on the right hand side and this master channel basically applies an effect to every single audio track every single audio row in your project so for example if you have multiple audio sources from different microphones and you want to level them all out and make sure they're kind of at the same volume you can add a compressor right here so this master audio chain right here is a custom built one and it comes with the drop cuts bass pack version one Drop Cuts is a company founded by myself and my good friend Matt Cousin, and we design efficiency workflow products for creative applications. And the base pack version one is for Premiere Pro, and it comes with this master audio chain with kind of like some effects to make your audio sound better. But yeah, if you want to check out the base pack, there's a ton of other features to kind of like help make your editing a lot faster. So yeah, if you want to check it out, head to the link in the description to check out the base pack version one for Premiere Pro. But that is the audio track mixer tool. Very, very simple to use, I guess kind of, but also very effective in helping you edit your audio faster. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'm saying that because in my last video, 87.1% of you haven't subscribed to my channel, but you're still watching my videos. So Yo, that one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys next Monday. I just realized I can't do the hand sign thing. Until then, Peace. Peace.